Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel and a new video. As you can see, I am still working from home. I am just waiting for the painter to give me a call on the 20 Reg Evoke. So fingers crossed, we'll get that video wrapped up on Friday and we'll get that car completely finished. Quite a lot of you reached out to me in a recent video about the new Range Rover Sport that I bought for my missus. So I thought a lot of you did say do a video on it and I didn't really want to but so many people have asked so we're going to do a bit of a feature, a bit of a video on this today and also really a little bit of an update on all of the other projects as well. I know people do always ask so we'll get back onto this shortly because the valeters unfortunately they are shut but I have called them and they are here. I'm not allowed to go anywhere near them but they can't work from the garage and they can't work from home. So they are here now, valeting the little black golf. The black golf is sold and that's going tomorrow morning. So I'm just getting that valeted out now. I've never had a chance to get it done. So we'll get that done. The polo, this is actually sold. It's been sold for a little while, but I've just been running around. I had to re-MOT it. The guy wanted a full 12 months on it and it did only have a month and it did pick up that it was going to need a couple of tyres so I've had a couple of brand new tyres fitted on it and had to change the battery but also this car since we repaired it has never ever been cleaned because they were shut so as you can see here this is actually dust from the repairs that were done so we're going to get that all cleaned get that parked up and they're coming for that later in the week so That'll be another two cars gone. The Mercedes GLA, I am literally waiting. We are waiting, we've inquired about the bracket system to repair that car, so we're waiting to get them back. As Soon as these guys are finished on the Golf, we'll have a little look round that, see what that looks like inside. Then they'll get the polo done, we'll have a little look round that, and then we'll do a bit of a video on the Range Rover Sport. I'll tell you why I bought it. I don't mind telling you how much I paid for it why i bought it and um, we'll even go for a little drive in it that's the plan sorry guys i do hope you enjoy it i'm sure quite a lot of you will so many people did ask about this when they noticed it in the last video guys, just before we do get started today i want to say a massive thank you to today's sponsor botb the weekly dream car giveaway botb now do two competitions a week the competition ends at midnight on sunday they now also include £50,000 with every dream car won. The tickets start at just £2.20. You could win a Range Rover Sport, Range Rover Valair, the latest Range Rover Vogue autobiography. They also do Mercedes, BMW, Porsches and Audis. Basically, all of your dream cars are available on there. They also do motorhomes. And don't forget that most important £50,000 with every vehicle that's won. You do only have to be 17 or over to play and the competition ends at midnight on a Sunday. Once again, I wanna thank BOTB for sponsoring today's video. And guys, you could be driving one of these cars for as little as £2.20. So head on over to BOTB. All the links are in the description. Let's move on and get this video on the way. So now all nice and clean and we can have a little bit of a walk around it and a little bit of a talk about it. So guys, I was initially going to hide the number plate, but I'm sure I don't need to. There's no reason. It's, I'm going to be driving it out the road. I can't hide it. So it is there on display. Range Rover Sport HSE 2015. I've mentioned in quite a few videos, we've wanted one and been looking one for a very long time, but it had to be a certain spec, certain model, not being awkward, but it's more to do with the interior. We did really want to go for a grey car, but eventually this was the one that come up that ticked all the boxes. So we'll have a little walk around the outside of it and I'll show you the car. And then I'll tell you how much it was and how much I got it for and the reasons why I managed to get the price reduced somewhat. It is a beautiful car and it is beautiful to drive. So it's quite tight on the driveway. 
Maybe we'll pull up somewhere shortly when we go for a little drive in it. So guys, I've been looking for one for quite a while and they was all coming up around 32, 33,000 pounds with this mileage on it. The car's done 55,000 miles. We wanted one with the full Land Rover history. They have to be looked after. So this one came up and it's actually a friend of mine has upgraded to an SBR. And he said to me, Rob, you can have it for 30. I haven't tried advertising it. He's not really the sort of person to advertise a car. So I went up, had a bit of a look at it and I started noticing some little bits on it that I didn't like the look of. So straight away, if we go close, you can see that front bumper, they all do it in white. I know they do, and it shows up really bad, but you can't actually see it too much on camera, but the car's bright white, frozen white or whatever it is, and the bumper looks a very yellowy colour. So I straight away said, I want to get the front bumper painted because the rest of the car looks lovely. And then I noticed these few stone chips. I mean, it has done 55,000 miles, so we've got to expect that there's going to be some stone chips. So I also want to have all of the gloss black done while the bumper's being painted as well and get rid of it. And there is some stone chips in the bumper anyway. So a front bumper repaint. Also, when I get a, got right round the car, I noticed there was some very minor light scratches and the car needs, it's desperately crying out for a polish. So these little scratches should come out of a polish and there's a couple of other little marks. And that was okay. But then I noticed that the lacquer here on the door is actually a big chunk of it missing. I'm not sure what's happened there, but the lacquer has come away. This has possibly been painted before. But as you know, if I was to paint the front bumper and paint that door, it would look very odd. So the front bumper and the whole side of the car is going to need to be painted. So again, I had to obviously allow for that. Moving round to the back, we got no problems at all. It's all as it should be and it's all very nice. And then down the passenger side, again, apart from a good polish, to get rid of some small marks, I'm quite happy with it. So it is just really the paintwork. So we was backwards, forwards, backwards, forwards, trying to negotiate a price. And in the end, we agreed on 27,700 pounds for the car. And I was quite happy with that because I'm probably gonna put a thousand pound into it to make sure it's absolutely immaculate now moving on to why we wanted a certain spec car inside the cars all of them are absolutely beautiful but on these range rovers they change the interiors so much we was adamant that we wanted black leather but most cars with the black leather, if you go online and have a look, they actually come with green, uh, green, cream door panels and a cream dashboard. We didn't want that at all. So we actually, it was so lucky that we found this one with my friend and it's actually got gray door panels, gray leather on the black. And I think you'd agree, it matches very, very well. And it's also got the top of the dash is black and the bottom half is gray. It's got all the heated seats and air climate control and everything else that the other car had. And then in the back, again, lovely leather and it's got the heated rear seats. The one function this car has got that the Evoque did not have, and I didn't realize that this would have it, is the electric boot opens on the key now the Evoke used to do that. And what was quite annoying is you'd have to push that button up there to shut it. But on the Sport, you press the key again and it actually shuts the boot. It's got the huge 22 inch wheels on it. And also two of the tires were nearly bald. I was right on the legal limit. So also we had to allow for the two new tires that I've had put on it. But that is the Range Rover Sport and we are absolutely 
over the moon with it. In a moment, we'll take that for a little drive, but I did say I'll give you a little bit of an update. The Golf is sold. It did need a clean. It had never been cleaned. They've given it a quick over out and a spruce up, and I'm quite happy with it. The Polo, as you would expect, looks like a new car now. It really does look like a new car. Inside and out, I'm not even gonna open it up. You can see in there, it's absolutely immaculate. And they're coming to get that later on in the week. Let's go for a drive in the Range Rover Sport. So guys, probably not the best position for the camera, but I'm sure once we're going in a straight line, it'll be absolutely fine. So, I don't, I, we wanted one of these for a very, very long time. Claire absolutely loves them and said she wasn't ready. She wanted to drive the Evoque for a couple of years. So her first car with the, the first little white Evoque she had for a year. And then we had the great one for 18 months, which was lovely. But I, I don't actually need a car. As you know, I drive whatever. Whatever we fix in the yard, I'll jump in it and I'll do 200 miles in it because I like to snag them anyway. But in the, when we do go out for a dinner or go shopping or go anywhere, we actually go in Claire's car because I don't need one. But sometimes I do, if I pop to the gym, I mean, I know I can't go at the moment, but if I go to the gym, I'll go in her revoke. And you know, I've got a few friends in the gym that you meet down there and Every time I pull up in it, they laugh and say, it's, you know, it's really not very manly, Rob, driving that car. I actually thought that it was all right. But like I say, when we go out, we we, we use our car. So I, I decided, do you know what? I'm going to buy a Sport. And I didn't tell her. And we was locked down anyway. So I was able to sell the Evoque. That went and we was able to, basically I was able to leave her without a car for a little while. So I said, there's a, there's another car coming. Didn't really say too much about it. And then surprised her with this and she's over the moon. And I really, really do like this car. I've got no complaints with it whatsoever. The only fault that I can find on this car, and you can actually see it from where you're watching. And that's the steering wheel. You can see here, and the steering wheel in this car, when you're driving in a straight line, is slightly off. And I hate that. That is one of my biggest pet hates in a car, is having the steering wheel slightly crooked. So we're now going around a bit of a left-hand bend on the dual carriageway, and you can see that the steering wheel is straightened up. It's ever so slightly when you look at it, but so annoying. So I am gonna actually take it over and have the tracking done. The tracking's fine. You could let the steering wheel go and it will go in a straight line, but I'm not happy with how it looks aesthetically. I'm looking at it and it's, I don't like it and I can see it on there and it's annoying me as well. So I don't really know what else to show you on the car. It's literally got buttons for everything. And I would be here all day showing you different bits and different stuff of what it does but I don't want to you know I don't want to drag out the video and like I said I'd never dream of doing a video on my own personal car but so many of you saw it in what was on the, the SLK Mercedes or CLK rather a lot of you saw this in the background and said really nice car Rob it's lovely and thank you everybody that said that it's it's been a lot of saving and a lot of hard work to get the car but now we've got it we'll probably have it for a year claire does hardly any miles i think she's done 2000 miles in the evoke in a year and even less where we've been on lockdown so we'll we'll keep this for a year and she'll have the hang of it by then it is a lot bigger than the evoke and hopefully you know fingers crossed keep working hard and I can upgrade it to a, a slightly newer one. I think they started in 13, these cars, but this one is lovely mileage. My friend did go to buy a new black one, but this was actually in the dealer, and it was their demonstrator, and it had done 800 miles, and he got a huge, huge discount, so it was a one owner. The one thing I will say, it's really weird about these new Range Rovers, it's really hard to get used to. 
I've always chased service history and most cars come with a service book. This car literally come with two keys and a book pack. And I said, where's the service book? And he said, oh, it don't have one. And I was, it's the same with the Evoque. You actually, I could go, you could go, you guys could actually go online now, put in the registration of this vehicle and the chassis number, and it actually comes up with all the service history at the dealer, it tells you where it was done, what date, and everything like that. So that's so much better and future proof for the salvage cars that we buy because nine times out of 10, as you know, they don't come with any service history. Guys, I can see that this video is quite long and all I've done is talk, but there literally is not a lot I can show you. I'm gonna give you a little bit of an update on the Volkswagen Polo. I sold that for full asking price, £3,250. But I did have to spend an additional £80 on that car, on a set of tyres, and another £40 on an on a MOT because they was adamant that they wanted a whole year on it. So that's no, no problem. We made a nice little profit out of that. And the Volkswagen Golf, I sold for 650 and I'll be lying if I tell you what it owed us because I generally can't remember. But what I will pick up on is the CLK Mercedes. Quite a lot of you was upset with me and I'll get it, I do get it. Guys, I'm working from home. It's cold outside, it gets dark really quick. That car was with an auto electrician for 14 months. And when I picked that car up, I also forgot to add the, that I paid the bill and he only charged £150. I'm sure if it was picked up after the two months that he spent in his spare time trying to get that working, it would have been a lot more. So I paid the £750 for it. I paid the £150 bill. I paid £40 for that module. I paid £40 for an MOT. And I sold that car and earned £1,000 out of it. So that's a nice little pre-tax profit for me and Chris. I sold it to a lovely chap who was actually retired and he always likes to have a car on the go. This is what he said to me on the phone. And it was one of you guys reached out to me on Instagram and he said to me, Rob, I've just finished off a project. I've built a little micro camper. I want a new project. That car is perfect. It's what I want. I can tinker with that in my garage until I get it fixed and I will fix it. He said, and I will update you for all of your viewers. And I know so many of you wanted an update on it. So that is a little bit of an update on that Merc. You know, it wasn't ideal. I love to finish everything I start and I'm sure everybody does really, but guys, it just didn't, it, it didn't work out like that. Look, I am going on a little bit. And I, and I know a lot of you do like the waffle. I've just ordered, just told the merch guy to uh, do the new t-shirt, less of the waffle with a picture of a waffle on it. So hopefully guys, if you want to support the channel, check those out. The link will be for the merch store in the description. Let's just pull that back up here so you ain't got to look at the steering wheel. So I do hope you enjoyed the video on the Range Rover Sport. Thank you, massive thank you again to BOTB for sponsoring the video. I'm going to put the links for BOTB, the merchandise, etc., all in the description down below. I hope I haven't missed anything for any of you on the car because so many of you have said really nice stuff and asked for this video. Otherwise, I probably wouldn't have done it. So, yeah, that is going to be the end of today's video. Thank you, everybody, for watching. Don't forget, please like, subscribe and share. Fingers crossed we get that Evoke back for a Friday video. We can get that buttoned up, do the numbers on it, and uh, get that one out the door. We have got somebody for it. So I'm going on still. I'll see you all very, very soon in the next one.